All right, this your boy Rick James. Nino G, the young OG. This my OG. And this the podcast. Podcast, cause a motherfucker ain't got time to be named. Ain't shit. never got no time for that shit. Okay. Let's get to the business. Yes, sir. First thing on the docket, man. Let's talk about this new Kodak. I like Kodak verse on that motherfucker. Mm. Kodak verse was decent. I like Kodak verse the on that The song was needs some work. I like Kodak verse on that motherfucker. <laughs> what about Psycho Bob? What Ooh. about little little Billy? What about little little Trap Trap? Little what all they names is? I don't know their names. I just know the nigga little little uh, Psycho Bob and shit. <laughs> little nigga Psycho Bob and Kodak, the only niggas who I remember on that thing, cause they was decent as hell. I like Kodak verse on that motherfucker. That's it. I like Kodak <laughs> first on that motherfucker. Welcome home, Kodak. <laughs> what? Hey, pour them shots of motherfucking champagne. This is our first motherfucking podcast. podcast Besides podcast. the fuck over podcast. Nah, we ain't even referring to that bullshit. Boy, we was we was done done. Besides the fuck over episode. Man, that over episode don't even count. Hey, this is that French shit. Yeah, you we drink the shots hey, of toast for right, this first boy. You hear me? Little background about what we try and do, you know what I'm saying? We some uh, ex street niggas who some working men and uh, parents now, so we trying to sit back and give positive energy to the community rather than what we used to do. I ain't gonna call it negative, but we just used to be on some uh, me time. You feel me? Yeah. So we the type of niggas you should I was rock ready with. To disagree with you. I was about to say, not me, but... Yeah, we was on some me time. I used to be on that me time. We was on some me time. Me time, you feel me? It ain't even about, uh, you know, and we ain't gonna talk about all that. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, we better get back to this motherfucking Kodak, but before we do that... What you got going on? This episode of the Podcast Podcast... Oh, yeah, we got the uh, Orange Royalties. It's talks about Orange Royalties. Orange Royalties. Rhino Mac, shout, shout you out, boy. You doing your thing with the Orange Royalties. Yeah, you can get with him. You can, you can buy your Orange Royalty merch at that at right there. At yeah, the whatever the that ad is, we're going to put it on the bottom. You feel me? We're going to put that on the bottom of the yeah, screen. Yeah, you hit him up on uh, uh Instagram. Hit that DM, though. He going to get you right, too. He going to get them uh, slides, them T-shirts, them hoodies, whatever you need. You feel me? So... Are we off the Kodak thing? Because you just didn't answer the question. Nah, but before we got into Kodak, I wanted to get into my nigga with the orange roll. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. Niggas might can get them, but niggas can't get these. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> right, niggas right. can't get these. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, right there, boy. So, uh, now that we off that, back to my nigga Kodak. What was the question? I like the verse. Was the song a good song? I like the verse. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll take that as a note. So, and my thing is, for Kodak to be one of the hardest little niggas out right now. One of. If not the best. If, okay, say If that. not the best little nigga out right now. I'll take if not. How can you come with that Reggie? Did Kodak come with that Reggie, though? The whole group as a, as a man, the song is Reggie. You said you like Beat, it. Beat, trash, everybody else. Except for uh, Sky, Psycho Bob and Kodak got horrible verses. They the only two with decent verses or good verses, depending on who, what you call. What's his name? Psycho Bob. I don't know him. You just know Kodak. He didn't impress you enough to even listen to him again. Who? Psycho Bob. I don't know him. The light-skinned nigga with all the tax and stuff. All of them, all of them. <laughs> None of them did nothing for you. All of so them. that's a waste of a track. All niggas got tattoos on their face. That's a waste shit. of a track, man. All these niggas got tattoos what on their face. What was the beat like? <laughs> Look, why you got to smile? Well, I, what was I the like beat Kodak like? Park. Man, <laughs> so Trinash. Who made that beat? Man, I have no clue, but they need to quit making beats. It wasn't the Indiana boy, was it? <laughs> I don't know, but he need to quit making beats. 
And long as it wasn't an Indiana boy. And nah, I don't know. It, wasn't, it was a nigga who need to quit making beats. Can we research who made that beat before Man, I give up? No, nigga, he need to quit making beats. So you just want an opinion? That beat, no was, that beat was no. Good. Don't matter if he from Indiana or not. No. You want if, an opinion? If you Dookie from Indiana, I met niggas from Indiana with Dookie beats. Niggas from Indiana ain't Dookie. But they beat If beat you from Dookie. Indiana, you Michael Jackson, you Babyface, you Mike Epps. We the greatest at everything we do. But they got Dookie beats. Who? All the niggas you just named. No. Michael Jackson had some Dookie beats. Had some Dookie beats. That's what Indi- I'm saying. Uh, Indiana <laughs> nigga ain't made it. <laughs> uh, Indiana like, nigga ain't make that. Babyface, he was making his own Dookie beats sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah Babyface like, <laughs> was making his own Dookie shit sometimes. <laughs> but he'll go down as one of the greatest. He got a high white name. Man, back in the top what? Nigga, top anything of top, everything. Top 100 of R&B of all time. Why? Man, nigga, cause... beat Teddy Riley, nigga. Man, where's Teddy Riley at? Ted up there. <laughs> nah, top what? Ted invented music. Man, them niggas is top a hundred. Ted invented a music. They top hundred. Ted invented okay, a music, they, they nigga. Top, they top hundred. <laughs> niggas ain't invented music. I don't care what he invented. He invented some bite. Top anyway, back to it's my not, little nigga Kodak. Kodak, let's get on Kodak. Kodak. That's a whole nother Kodak, talk. do some motherfucking, do something better. Period. Kodak, do better. We expect more from you. Is you disappointed? And Did that's what you wanted from Kodak coming no, out the gate first? Not at all. Fuck it, let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Kodak, love you to death. We finna be honest. I didn't care for uh Lil Dookie Low. <laughs> I didn't care for nothing but really your verse, yeah. though. And like, you need to tell if, if that ain't that, don't be trying to not hurt them niggas' feelings. Yeah, man. Like, nigga, tell them niggas in the motherfucking studio like your OGs told you. Nah, bro, I don't like that. I don't like that. Period. Mother- I, I'm sure a motherfucker told he you. He looked like he liked it though. You can look like you want. <laughs> he looked like he thought he had that shit. Niggas be looking like My anything. Niggas, man, them comments like, he back. I said, nah, he need to put that he back. He back. He need to put that back in the motherfucking free. Nah, his motherfucking verse is hard, bro. I like it. <laughs> it was cool. I liked it. wasn't it. like nothing else he dropped. I liked it. All right, boom. Well. I like that. I got a, I got a thumbs up. I give me. I give Kodak salutes just because he, you know, he take care of it. He trying to put his little the niggas on. The song as a song was terrible. Yeah. If I had to rate it out of six. I'd get a one. So we going out of ten and get a two. Nah, if it's going out of six or if it's going out of ten, that bitch get a one. One out of six or ten. That thing. It get a two out of ten. That's what I said. I like the mix and the mastering on that motherfucker. Ah, uh, mix and master. Get, it. <laughs> get you some points. <laughs> now, motherfucker got to go mix, all the way. Don't nobody know about no mix and master. You remember bitch. when Shotgun Sugar? If you don't make music, you don't know about no mix and master. You remember when Shotgun Sugar used to battle when they used to be like, vocal projection. <laughs> yeah. I like the mix and the mastering on that motherfucker. <laughs> Mix and master, man. Quit Come playing on. with me, man. Nobody know that shit. This little nigga crazy. Man. So, like I was saying, though, I fuck with Kodak because he invests his time, he invests his money in the community and in the future. And he he remind me of Gucci and Jeezy. like Kodak remind you of Gucci? And Jeezy. Meaning he gonna make sure... I never heard that like that, but he gonna I make agree. shit. He gonna make sure... His niggas carry on like Gucci, but he gonna invest in other shit like Jeezy, and one day he gonna be one of them niggas that make that bread like that. That's what I see from him. Because I'm gonna tell you, he got into it with Master P about whatever Master P told him, but he listened and he took the damn thing, he took the knowledge and implemented the shit in, in his in his lifestyle. Though you feel me? So like. He learned. He's I very smart, man. He's very smart and pay attention to what's going on. That's what more of these youngsters got to do, man. They got to take his example and invest in that community, invest in 
themselves, believe in themselves, believe in their community. But see, that's why we got a podcast, because it ain't just the youngsters. Okay. Niggas, period, need to invest in niggas, period. The OGs need to invest in the youngsters. If you see a talent in your little nigga, you need to invest in that talent in your little nigga. Like, niggas need to invest in niggas, bro. Don't just say the youngsters need to do this. Man, Don't say I, that. I'm older, so nah, like, man. I know when I was younger. And Don't I was say invest- that. When I was trying to invest in other little dudes, sometimes they don't be having the drive you got. It don't. So it, it takes away from it. I can't say it don't matter, but you can't just blame it on a whole generation of niggas. And no, no. Each each of us tried it and, and it failed. So we say, uh, I don't got time to be invested in these little dudes. They don't do it. That's where y'all say, you old niggas is bitter. And then a lot of little niggas get looked over. Man, but because one little because nigga, the one did wrong, and then a lot like, of little yeah, niggas I'm, get looked over. Dude. I agree, I agree, I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. But I already tried this. I'm not about to keep bumping my head either, especially when it comes with my money and my time. You feel me? I agree to a certain extent. Why you gonna keep bumping your head over and over and over? If you keep picking the wrong little nigga, at some point you need to focus on your motherfucking judgment and character. I can't disagree with that, but I can say that at least I tried to give back. And that's where we, as people, be falling off, though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't trying to give back. Everybody ain't trying to invest. But if everybody, if it wasn't just me trying to invest in the little dudes and it was like 10 of us, one of us would have found the right one. You feel me? We got to all start That's my point, though. and looking for the next generation a lot more. That's my point. The OGs need to start investing in the little niggas. We already tried That's it, my some point. of us, though. So you asking and me then to do it And then it didn't work again? one time. And then it didn't work one it time. It didn't work twice for me, maybe. Three maybe. times for me, maybe. Maybe. You know, I kept doing it probably. Yeah, but it's a million little niggas outside. Yeah, man, I can't be the one trying to get a million, boy. That ain't for me. And I'm I'm pretty sure that's where it come from, niggas giving up. You going to sit here and tell me you invested in three solid little niggas and you ain't getting no return? We can invest in each other. We can build our communities up. We don't need everybody. We just need a few to make us all millionaires, billionaires, and we can take the fuck off. Say what you just said again. We don't need all of us to be boycotting. We just need a few of us to be sticking together. If the few can influence the many, then that's where we start. I want you to repeat that before I disagree. I disagree. What you mean? All of us need to be sticking together, not a few of us. I, I want us all to stick together. Will that happen in actuality? You already know they won't. You know they not going to stick together. Well, niggas stick together. Hell no. Nah. Niggas ain't stuck together since... See? Slavery. Bible. <laughs> niggas told on Jesus. And we ain't even going to talk religion on this Man, podcast. Yeah. So that's a good segue so was, into Go Talk. Yeah, let's go to Go Talk because you already done got it uh, dirtied up with the religion talk. So, Boom. We gonna talk I ain't about dirty it up. Niggas did tell on Jesus. We gonna talk about top five battles ever. I don't want to. Man, that's a hard. That's because you can't even think of nothing off the top of your head. I can think of some off the top of my head, but I would I had to actually go home. What's your favorite my... battle? I don't know. I have a different favorite every. Every month. What haven't changed over the years then as far as a top five battle? All first verse. All first verse. Exactly. So we know that's one of them. Lux versus Calico. The first ass wiping with only two rounds. He And a choke. The first nigga that got a 30 <laughs> and a choke. 30 with a choke. All right. So boom. We can agree with that. That's a top five. And I love Calico. So let me not even act like I fucks with Calico. Cal too. ain't Cal be doing his Cal thing. Cal was talking shit in that battle. It just wasn't 
Okay, like, it's like God, uh, that was that. <coughs> Have you ever heard a nigga in a battle talk to your soul so much that it don't even matter what you say? I don't even care what you say no more. Gitchy do even that. Even though, me. like you said, the nigga was talking. I was like, uh. Gitchy do that for me. Yeah, but I'm saying that's what Lux did to Cal for me that night. Even though, yes, I done watched that battle hundreds of times, I probably. Like, that is my favorite battle of all time. I watch that so much. I be hearing him talk to him, and then I be like, I don't care what he just said. Every time. So, boom. That's one of them for me. What's, what's another one? That's one for both of us. Nah, I said the first one. It's on you. Man, big drill. A verb. Verse hit man. Safe picks. Man. Two safe it's, picks. They cool. We both did they safe They stand the picks. test of time, man. We both did they safe st- picks. They stand the safe test of time. So do Gordon what and make... Angel Duck, but that ain't in my top five battles. That wasn't, that wasn't a hard battle. That was a hard ass wiping. Yeah, that was hard. That's, that's different. That was a body. Yeah, that was different. Like, the Nick, like you said, Cal brings. So with the Lux Cal, Cal bring that. He was uh, talking. You feel me? Because he, he went make first. It, it wasn't debatable, but he made it a battle. It wasn't debatable, SB but SB got his ass he... wiped out. Yeah, fact. No, but especially yeah, since Cal went same. first, it was like, ooh, yeah. he talking that shit. And looks every time. And then when like, it, it was just like, nigga <laughs> <laughs> had so many quotables. Like, like what? Like, look, damn, look at him emotional, all that. Like he just like, he changed battle rap. He was running circles around that nigga. Verb. The reason why the Hitman versus Verb is is because Lux even said he took from that battle the third verse. If that's and the case, crafted it up more for uh, Cal. If that's the case, I got my next battle then. Who that? Hitman versus Surf. I agree. I, I definitely don't disagree with that. That nigga third. Third was crazy. Invented Geechee Gotti. Even Gitchy said, I looked at that shit and said, they paying Crips? <laughs> they paying Crips? They paying Crips? Let me get some of that money. <laughs> they paying Crips? <laughs> Is that what Gitchy said? That's what he said to That's make face got, off. Yeah, he like, oh yeah, Crips getting paid. Like, like, they paying Crips? Because Surf did that thing the right way. He did he that. Brought, he brought his pain from his past into genuine, like, bar heavy uh, 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 can you compare my life to yours, nigga? When you had mommy, daddy loving you, nigga, I felt alone by myself in the cold. Nigga, I had to live like this. He said something. Remember the bar when he said something? About, man, I can't remember the bar. When he said, nigga, uh, how they practice shots. How they was practicing, like, hit yeah. man was practicing yeah. shots. Yeah. Yeah. He said, we yeah. came yeah. back, nigga, practicing <laughs> shots. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Oh, he, hey, he put that thing together. Yeah, that's that is a, just by itself the top five, top two, top three, third rounds of all time though. That third round from Surf, that's one of the best rounds ever. So I cannot disagree with you on that. So there, there go three of them. Yeah, we all agreed on them three, though. Yeah, but what else? Okay, so what other ones you wouldn't agree with that I might throw in there? I got something that your ass probably ain't going to agree with, but I'm and probably the masses won't agree with. But when I'm talking battle rap, I'm talking battle rap. Okay, I'm listening. I'm talking the sperm version of battle rap. My number four will probably be don't want to be. Cassidy and, and Freeway? Nigga, I watched that battle so many times in the sixth grade, bro. Mm. It did, bro. That was all I had at a point in time, my nigga. Damn, you just killed it. And I down there, it's hard to disagree. At one point in time, that bro, one. that was all I had for battle. Because I've been in love with battle rap I think before a lot of Smack. I Not think, probably. I my, think nobody would think of that. Like, the way you just put that, I don't think nobody would even think of that battle because of how Cassidy was styling on that nigga and because how trash people view Cassidy now. They don't want to never give him credit for no top five battle of all time. 
Yeah, but, but that it, nigga was battle rap back But in then. battle rap's germination stage. Yeah, he was that. Germination stage, it was Cassidy. We used to say Cassidy could probably fuck up Eminem. Eminem, Remember that shit? nigga. We used to be like that. Eminem, like, Cassidy yeah, and Eminem. Yeah, we was like, Cass, I get that I've ass. been, I've been one of them with battle rap since then. Yeah, me too. So, like, so for that, me, that's you different. You was a baby back then, too. For me, that's different, bro. So yeah, like... Man, I damn, I got the nostalgia. You just fucked me up. Like, that, I got to agree with that shit. The nostalgia, my nigga. Niggas be hating on Cass, but he came with that. He came with that. I, I don't disagree. I, I, we agree on that one. But damn, you fucked me up, I and mean, I got to agree. Now, the last one is hard. I because know what my last one is. I, I fuck with it. The, was they, Hold on, you the agree with that number four? That's your I, number four battle of all time? I got to. I cannot disagree with that. Fuck out of here. I wanted to argue. I can't argue with you <laughs> on it. You fucked me up too bad. And it was. And I should have waited on my point. And first. that motherfucker hit. I should have waited and hit you Ooh, with my point after hit. your argument. That hit. Like, I can't even disagree. Okay, Damn. okay. Next that time I'll wait, I'll wait and hit you with my point after your argument. <clears throat> all right. The last one, right? There's a few of them that could be there, right? But this one battle I watched more than the others because of the entertainment factor. And because I had trouble picking a winner, no matter what. Charlie Clips versus Tay Rock, part two. Cold. It's a lot of them up there with that, but... That one just, it hit different for me. Good battle. Tay Rock won, though. Tay Rock won to me, too, but the masses say Charlie Clips got that ass again. Do they really? Yeah, they say 2-1 Charlie Clips. I ain't gonna argue with him. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's how Good debatable battle. it was. Good battle. It was so, it was like, man, Tay Rock put in so much work to get right back to that level, and Charlie Clips was on the road, like, nigga, I'm killing shit. I needed that battle, and and it mean more for me looking back than Good battle. a lot of other battles. Not top five. If you got a better battle, I'm trying to listen. Definitely not top five, bro. What's better than that? The reason this battle is better than that one is because Tay Rock won the last one that you said, and we both agreed on that. This battle, every time I watch it, somebody different won. Sue Surf versus Calico. Every time I watch anything anybody wanted to say, don't worry, I said, Jersey versus Detroit would have never been if you would have pressed Shug when he violated. And then Cal said, <laughs> I'm listening, but you know this by heart. It, this, this battle hit you somewhere different. So we probably ain't going to agree on this top, on this number five. Two of my favorite niggas. Two of your favorite niggas. Two of my favorite niggas. Both of them niggas talking to each other greasy. Both of them niggas like talking to do. each other greasy. Like they do. I don't even really care for Tay Rock or Clip. Calico said. And I put that up there. Calico said, I came all the way to your house to offend you. Then the nigga behind him said something. Then he said, I came all the way to your house to offend you. <laughs> I fucks with the battle, man. I love it. But that battle ain't hit. That battle ain't hit as hard as some of these other battles. Man, it, it's Harder been, than motherfucking Tay Rock and you know, Clips. Not to me. Not to me. Tay Rock won. Okay, but, uh, okay. So I'm going to give you another. Who won I'm Tay gonna Rock? Give you no, another, no, 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 no. No. Go back to the battle. I'm going to give you another battle that's no, on that level of what you just battle. said. Go back to that battle. Who won that battle? Which battle? Tay Rock, I mean, um, Calico versus Surf. Man, Cal won on that. You see what I'm saying? Like Cal won that two one, hands down. I'm never. I only watched it about five times. I ain't need to watch it no more to see Cal beat that ass every time. I disagree with you, nigga. Cal won every time. Every time I watched it, Cal won. So I disagree with you. Surf was up there, but he wasn't surf surf. He wasn't inmate press nine surf. He wasn't uh. Uh, tar I Hill. walked through Carolina <laughs> was, so much. He wasn't Tar Heels. I got surf. Tar Heels. Yeah, he wasn't Tar Heels surf. He wasn't. He got way better surfs than that. 
So no. Yeah, this but might be he the beat best. All them niggas. This might be the he best. Beat, he beat Tay Rock. Press that, was, nine. that was almost the best he Tay Rock ever. MMA, he beat MA Press Nine. He beat he beat up uh, Tar Heels. I don't know who the fuck won out of that battle. Man, Between him and Cal Cal. won that battle, bro. I don't know. He bro. beat him every time I, I watched know. it. I just if said, you would have said, 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 said a surf one, if you would have said a surf one, I would have been like this too. We got to agree. If you would have said a surf one, I would have been like. Man, you feel like Cliffs won. I mean, you feel like Tay Rock won, but if we don't get to determine. It's, that's that's highly debatable battle, man. Just the same as you saying Cal and surf. What battle was you about to compare it to? Um, Av and um, the punchline nigga, uh, Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty beat Av. Nah, boy, you gotta go back and watch that then. That's more debatable than what you just said. Nigga, that, that, that was a debatable ass battle. Nigga, they was going crazy. Podcast shit. Another one on that level. Hit the button. Nigga, JC and uh... Chilla Jones, uh, when they was in the motherfucking uh, little nigga camp, whatever it's called, PG. Let's go back to Av and Rum Nitty. Nigga, Av ain't just wiped the wiped the floor with Rum Nitty. I know he didn't because Rum Nitty won. And Rum Nitty ain't just wiped the floor with Av. Let me tell you why Rum Nitty did. Why Rum Nitty won? Not, I ain't gonna say wipe the floor. I'm gonna say he won because man, I've seen Av steal bars twice. Man, did he steal bars in that battle? I don't know, so I don't like him no more. Man, uh, niggas Cause always like Top goofy said, shit. Cause like Top said. Niggas always going with goofy shit. Nigga, you ain't seen Av steal bars? I ain't seen it. They said he did. But I ain't see it. I got to do some more research on that. We got a whole segment called Research. We need to research that. Did I have steel bars? Check the facts. Man, I'm not fact checking that, man. I do that on my own time. Nigga, Av stole bars. All you gotta do is type it into YouTube. Av steals and, and, and bars gonna So I up. need to put YouTube for this one? Type it into YouTube. Put Av steals and then bars gonna pop. It's gonna say steal from John John. It's gonna steal steals from Rum Nitty. It's gonna Av. say. Steals bar, steals, Av, steals. Still, Av stealing bars. <laughs> Av stealing bars. Av stealing bars. Worst stolen bars of 2016. He's the worst of 2016. And that was Vado. Vado. Do we count? Vado Fly? I fuck with Vado Fly. Hey. Fuck you, Vodafly. I don't, I don't fuck you. with Battle Truth. I don't fuck with Vodafly. I don't fuck with Battle Truth. He declares, I ain't steal no bars. I'm not admitting nothing. <laughs> he, uh, he ain't admitting uh, nothing. What top? What? What top is this? No, say who that is. Say that's hip hop is real. <laughs> hey, hip hop is real. Hip hop is hip-hop real. Saying what? I'm not admitting nothing. <laughs> he said, I ain't admitting nothing. <laughs> And explains what happened. Come on, my nigga. Man, I had to re watch that on my own time. Shout out Hip Hop is Real. Shout out Av. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Av, too. That nigga's got bars. I don't care what this little nigga talking about. That little that nigga Av be spitting. All he, right, man. I let little nigga Av be stealing. T-Top said, this is for my niggas that stay up till four in the morning. That can't find shit that rhyme with four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm one of them little so niggas nigga that be up be, till four in the morning. That nigga just steal some shit. Yeah, <laughs> so you was stealing some bars, bitch. When you was rapping, you was stealing bars. I'm one of them little niggas that be up till four in the morning <laughs> that can't find shit that rhyme with four in the morning. <laughs> Fuck are you talking about? I'm one of them little niggas. Got to change your whole life. As in what? As in fucking nigga, I can't think of this shit. He going to steal. <laughs> Let me. I'll get that. Got to change your John whole life. Scheme when don't shit rhyme with four John, in the morning. John? Was he John John? We can't talk over each other, but hold on. John you got John to rhyme, baby, you got to change John your John. whole rhyme scheme when don't shit rhyme with four in the morning. Man, there's a lot of shit to rhyme with four in the morning. I'm saying, but if it don't <laughs> at four in the morning, you got to change your whole rhyme scheme to bitch. <laughs> Let's do some easy shit. 
Nigga, you a snitch. Yo, bitch was a bitch. <laughs> Check this out. That's what we do. Sit around and talk shit. Man, that's how we do any other day. So we let y'all into our motherfucking lifestyle and shit. Because, man, this nigga got a difference of opinion. Every day. Nah, not who the goatee is and shit like that. Yeah. Not Maybe not not a difference, but our top fives will be different. Yeah, top fives will definitely be different. Goat talk always going to be different. Yeah, definitely. So this Cause is, like we we might have folk like we just see we had four battles we like uh 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 nigga that last one ain't never gonna be the same we can't just agree on that shit that last one ain't gonna be a last one to be determined that's what we gonna say so we got number one Lux and Cal number two Big Gerald A Verb versus Hitman number three Cassidy and, and uh. That was number four. Nah, who was number three then? We had Lux and Cal. We oh, had Big Hitman Girl. versus Surf. Hitman and Surf. Surf three. We had Cassidy and then Cassidy and Freeway. And Freeway. Then four, five. Two Surf and Cal. Man, <laughs> five is uh is that Top nigga Clips of all time. versus Tay Rock. <laughs> what what he talking about? And we got this thing, y'all. Podcast. R.P. Nipsey. R.P. Nipsey. R.P. Vaughn too. 